Hello viewers, this is Dao Fast here. Check out these brand new racing pedals I just installed into this vehicle. As you can see, they look really good. This pedal set is made of all aluminum with rubber inserts. In this video, I will show you how to install these aluminum racing pedals. Let's have a look at this racing pedal set. On the left side, we have the dead pedal to rest your foot. In the middle, we have the brake pedal. At the top, we have the parking brake pedal. On the right side is the gas pedal. And here is some hardware you'll use to install these pedals. Let me go ahead and open these up and I'll show you what they look like. So on the back, you'll see there is a rubber insert. That's where you get these rubber grips on the front here. And the pedal itself is all aluminum. Here is the dead pedal. And this is the gas pedal. Now to install this set of pedals, you do need to screw into your existing pedal. And that's why it comes with all these hardware and screws. Let's go to the car and we'll get this installed. So here I've laid out all the parts for this installation. Now to install this pedal set onto the factory pedals, you do need to drill holes through them, but these screws that's included are very small. So the hole that you need to drill is not very big. And also depending on the size of your factory pedal, you may or may not need to drill all the holes here. Now for the accelerator pedal, I'd curve this more so it'll fit onto the contour of the original pedal. Now I'll mark the holes that I need to drill and make sure behind that hole, there's nothing blocking it. I want to point out the rubber pad that goes behind the metal pedal. There are these holes that you need to punch out or drill out. So I've placed a screw through the metal pedal and the rubber insert. Another thing that I'll be using is this Loctite. So I'll put some on the thread so when I tighten the nut, it will not come loose. Now with the brake pedal, there's actually a rubber cover on this, so we can pull back this rubber cover. Place a new pedal on top and see where you can drill the hole. Now you don't want the brake pedal to be too close to the gas pedal. Make sure you have enough space right here. Because this new pedal is quite wide, I'm going to slide this over and then mark the hole. Again, put some thread lock. With the e-brake, there's also a rubber cover that you can remove. There is a tab on the right side of this rubber cover. You want to take a flathead, put it behind it, push on it, and that tab will come out. I can remove this. And here's the tab that I'm talking about. And the new one is gonna go on top right here. We'll drill two holes for that.
For this last one here, we'll just drill two small holes and then install it with the included Phillips screw. Here's a look at these new pedals after installation. I think they look pretty good. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. As you can see, these aluminum pedals look really good. Now, these ones that I got with a Nismo name stamped into it, I got off eBay. If you want ones with a Nissan name stamped into it, they are available on Amazon and I will include the link for those. Let me know what your thoughts about these in the comment section. And don't forget to click on thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.